Okay, about the sex of malt, this is a Formictopus species blue. Um, full disclosure, I already bought this one as a female, but I always check the first malts of everything I get anyway, not because I don't trust the vendors I buy from, I really do, and so far they've been 100%, but um, it, it's always good practice, quite frankly, and there's been a couple situations on the boards recently of people that have bought stuff that was supposed to be females, and they ended up being uh, maturing out as males. So I figured this would be a good one because I just did a whole thing on how to sex a malt, but I didn't do a video of it, so this kind of shows how I actually go about it. Now, to soften it up when you get them out, unless you grab them right away, and if you grab them right away, they're usually a little bit moist from the molt process, but the best way to soften them up is either you can spray them down, I use a little spray bottle with a little warm water, or even better, you drop them in a warm glass of water and just let them sit for a minute. It, don't, it doesn't have to be that long. It absorbs the moisture pretty quickly, softens the whole molt up, makes it a little more pliable, and then what you need to do is open it up so that you can see inside of it. And what we're looking for is this abdominal, uh, abdominal skin here. And this is what we really need to carefully open up. Now, I use toothpicks. Um, you have to be very, very careful if you use toothpicks because they are sharp and you can uh, tear the skin. And what we need to do is see the area between the first two set of book lungs. What I'm going to do is try to open this. And this one isn't particularly twisted. Um, some of these get really, really twisted. And um, what will happen is sometimes when the tarantula is molt, they will turn around and basically suck the excess moisture out of this to kind of regain some of the moisture they lost during the process. So when they do that, they usually end up shredding the molt. Um, people say they're eating them or munching them. They're not really eating them. Um, what they're doing is basically sucking out the rest of the moisture because they do pump a lot of moisture in between the, the old exoskeleton and the new exoskeleton where they molt, and a lot of that remains on the old exoskeleton when they got out of it. So here is what we're looking for here, and there it is. There is the spermatheca, so this is a female. Hopefully this comes out on camera, but all tarantulas have that little slit, so I've seen people go, oh, it's got the slit, it's a female. It's not the same as human anatomy, so you can't really think that way. They both have that same uh, anatomical feature, but what we're looking for is that little receptacle there that will spore, uh, store the male sperm. Hopefully that's coming across. Is that coming across on camera? The toothpick and it, yes. Good. So that's what we're looking for, that little flap right there, and I'll see if I can, sometimes I can get a piece of paper underneath it. Yep, well, kind of. Yep, there we go. So I don't know how well that's coming up. It's actually kind of small, but I've got the piece of paper actually underneath the flap. So that's what you're looking for when you're looking for a female. Um, I have the gloves on because keep in mind these, if you're doing a new world species, they do have the urticating hairs. Um, you don't want those getting in your fingers, although as you can see, I'm not touching it too, too much, but when you pull it out, you want to just be careful. And I have, I use this plate for a lot of my sexing and it's usually covered in hairs anyway. So that's something you want to think about. So there we go. That is a female. No problems there. My Formictibus species blue is as advertised a female, lovely girl. Now I'll be posting pictures of her later. Um, so that's really all there is to it. As long as you can get an intact molt, you're looking not just for that slit, but for the spermatheca, which is that little flap above it. And just keep in mind, in some of the species, it takes a little longer for this to develop. And in some cases, males will have equipment that will kind of resemble a spermatheca. So you want to make sure that you do some comparisons online. Google the, the pictures of the species you're trying to sex and try to get a good idea before you go into it what you're looking for.